Hi everyone. I want to show you quickly on this tutorial about the uploading and converting process of getting your documents into your Google Drive account. And there are two main things that I want to make sure I make clear and point out to you. And first of all, um, looking, we'll, um, we'll first of all look at what conversion, converting a file really does do. The difference between uploading a um, Microsoft document and then converting that into a Google formatted document. So we'll look at that first. Secondly, we'll talk about why it is that you want to convert. And the big thing with that is going to be if you want your kids to have access to a document or a template or something that you're going to post to your Moodle and you want them to be able to manipulate uh, the document, whether that be um, fill in um, a study guide or a graphic organizer or just a Word document template or whatever your case might be. So here I am at Google. I'm going to go to um, my Drive account. I am going to log in. Remember, this is your full center uh, email address. And uh, if you already went through the other tutorial, you've already had the real brief drive overview. But um, so let's just dive right into this. I have a couple of documents here that I want to show you. Um, um, and let's start off just with this Word document here. I purposely use this Word document because um, as you, as I open it here, um, you'll see that um, I've, I've kind of formatted it. Did I open it? There we go. I um, I mean, it's not all that tricky and, and, you know, whatever in terms of formatting, but it has a table, it has some clip art, uh, it has some different formatting, um, some different types of font and um, that sort of thing. So I thought this one might be a good one to demonstrate with. Um, when I clicked on that W, let me go back here so you can see this. Remember the W means that this is an actual Word document. So when I open this, it just opens in um, a Google Drive viewer. That's all this is. It, you can't click on it. You, I can't type or make any types of changes in here or anything. Um, I can print it if I am at a district networked computer. So kids won't be able to print from their Chromebooks. Um, I can zoom, you know, I can do some things like that. Um, and But let's go into now and look at the exact same document that I converted into a um, Google format. And really what I did with this is I right clicked on my Word document and I opened with a Google Docs. So remember, um, when you just click on the Word document, it's going to open in a, your, the viewer. You have to purposely tell it that you want it to open in Docs. And let's go ahead and open this up in Docs, and we'll just look and see what it does. Basically, everything's going to somewhat come through. Um, my clip art didn't, uh, and you can obviously tell the formatting. Um, it just looks different, right? Um, so anyway, just so that you're aware that the conversions aren't always perfect, but obviously something um, is coming through. And, um, and in some cases, it's better than starting over from scratch. So um, anyway, so this is what a Word document looks like. I've uploaded a PowerPoint. Let's just look at this real quick. Um, this I'm using my scroll wheel to scroll through the different slides on this. Again, notice that you have the exact same options down here. Um, I, can, I, can't, okay, I can't open it in any other manner. I didn't know if it would give me the option of opening in a Google format um, in this location right here as well. So um, let's close out of this. Again, I am going to right click on this. I am going to select to open with and this time I want to open with Google Slides. Um, and this is kind of Google's um, solution to their presentation, um, I'm sorry, to PowerPoint. And you know, that was quite a big PowerPoint. Oh, but it seemed to open up here just fine. So um, anyway, it takes all of my information and actually, I have to admit, I am surprised with how well um, this converted. So, um, so my little, um, 
confession here is is that I did not try this <laughs> prior to um, this conversion. So now you would be able to get in and um, get into your text boxes, make some of your changes, do some um, adding on and additions you know, whatever it is that you want to do um, in your Drive account. Okay, so in a nutshell, um, PowerPoint looks like it's going to convert fairly well. Word, if you have it formatted kind of trickily, um, if, is that a word? Um, you might you lose um, some of the formatting and features and that sort of thing. Notice this is just a plain old PDF document that I uploaded. Um, and again, I'm using my scroll wheel, and because it's PDF, it already is pretty generic um, with how it is that it's going to um, appear. And this is very much like a PDF document that you would see anywhere else. So, we looked at the different types of documents and what the different file conversions will um, do to the document. But now, when do we really need to use these? And the answer to that, and I really want you to consider this when uploading your documents into your Drive account, is how are your students going to interact with the document that you're uploading? If you want them to be able to edit and modify and complete and fill out and all of that, you're going to want to upload um, the Google format. Now, as we just, as I just showed, you can start with the Microsoft format that I did in this kind of, um, well, th these were training notes in the PowerPoint. And we also showed that once you convert that, you might lose some formatting, but it still comes over fairly well, depending on the, uh, how you initially had that document formatted, the initial Word document formatted. So um, anyway, um, why would you want to do it if you want your kids to be able to have access to modify, to fill out, to use as a template, uh, that sort of thing. Stating the obvious, and I think I've stated this in several other tutorials, your students will not be able to open a Microsoft Word document on their Chromebook and edit it. That is why you need to convert into the Google Doc format so that your kids can open in their Google Doc format and edit from here. Um, I hope this is clear. Experiment with this. See what some of your conversions look like. And let me know if you have questions.